Hi guys, welcome back. And a few of you guys requested a Kinmaster tutorial, so you guys are gonna get it. Okay, now let's go to the video. And, and okay guys, by the way guys, if you watch it till the end of this video, you're gonna be able to edit on your phone on Kinmaster and edit like a pro. And, uh, and the comment of the day comes from Castina Vlogs. And he says, y'all better use your memory to 190 pump that like button. So God, yo, thank you so much, Castina Vlogs. Thank you so much. Anyways, let's go to the video. And guys, in this video, I'm going to show you the UI in Kinmaster, the basic editing tips in Kinmaster, and I'm also going to show you really cool editing techniques on Kinmaster. Okay guys, let's go to Kinmaster. Uh, okay guys, this is basically the face of the Kinmaster. Now what you want to do if you want to um if you want to edit on Kinmaster, this is what you do. You see this little clip, this um video footage? What you want to do is click this and there you go. Usually on Facebook and Instagram, you're going to choose one by one. And for YouTube, we you click 16 to 9 ratio, so you click it, there you go. And if you guys want to get your video clip, this is what you do. You go to media, click, go down to albums and click all. Now, let's see the clip. This is the clip we're going to do. going to click this, and there you go, and check mark. So guys, there's some uh, there's some error over here. See, it, it um turned, and now we have some stuff that we don't want. Now we're gonna cut it, and then now you you're gonna click the clip and make it yellow, so that way you delete it. Then you click trim and split, then split at playhead, and then you click on it again, and there's a trash can on the left side, and you click delete. And also guys, if you like videos like this, smash the like button, subscribe for more videos, because we make videos like this every Sunday. There you go. Now we have the spot that we don't want. And now we have to click face cam, because you, obviously guys, you want a face cam. So what you want to do is click layer. You see, it says media. I don't know if you guys, you guys can see it's very small, but yeah, it says media on the top. And you click it. And you do the same step, all, and now you want a uh, video footage. Oh yeah, this one looks good. So we, now we have this part, and then we can crop it. We can place it around our screen. So you're gonna click crop because you don't want this to cover all of your screen. So you click crop, and then you're gonna shrink it so you, so you can see the gameplay and face cam. There you go. <coughs> Okay, now you have your face cam. Now we're gonna click the check mark on the top right. Now we're gonna resize it and put it in the top corner. Okay, there you go, now you have your face cam. There you go, that's how you do your face cam. But now we want the face cam to align with the footage. So what you want to do, because obviously the gameplay is like um, too wide and so is the face cam. So what you want to do is twitch your fingers together so you can compress the timeline. And hold the face cam clip. There you go guys, and now we're going to align it with the footage. And guys, what you want to do now is do the same thing, split from playhead. So we're going to align it with the clips. And then click each one and say split from playhead. So we're gonna click trim and split. Split from at playhead. And there you go. Now for the same thing for the face cam. And click delete. And now same thing with this. Trim split and split at playhead. And now and now click delete. There you go. Now it's aligned. It's per it's perfect. Now they're all at the same limit. Now they're at the same time. Now I'm going to show you how to adjust the audio on in, in each layer. That's very important as well. Because that's why you need like an audio for your face cam and gameplay so it can be separate. 
because uh, if they're only on the same audio, you're going to only get the face cam audio or the gameplay. And you click mixer, and then there you go. There's the volume for your audio. And you want to adjust your audio to, uh, let's say, this audio you can basically adjust to, uh, let's say, 100 or above, or 140. And now we're going to click the check mark. Click the gameplay clip and do the same thing. Mixer. And this clip we're gonna lower because you don't you don't want your um gameplay to be louder than your voice. So we're gonna lower it down to 65. It is lower than 100. This is only for example, this is just how um we do it guys. If you have to adjust the audio how you feel like um it's comfortable for your audience. Then click check mark. And there you go. Now you have the audios separate and different. And there's this one other cool feature, feature that I'm going to show you right now. So I'm going to delete this clip. Only for now, guys. There you go. Like, let's say you only want um, a gameplay and you don't want face cam. You can actually do voiceover over this game clip. So that that's how um, you get a gameplay and a voice. Now you you're going to click this voice icon. See, now it's recording now, guys. See, it's recording, and now you have a voiceover. Ooh, hello. No, it's king. It's king, guys. See, even, even if you didn't have voice before, now you can do it so you can record your voiceover. You can record your voice. See, now you have voiceover for your game. Even though it's not perfect, at least you have voiceover. And you can also do a lot of other cool things, like you, you can add text to the video. Okay, so you click layer first, then you click the big T. There you go. And then you can type a t text. Like, for example, Fortnite. Let's Fortnite, guys. There you go. And check mark. There you go. Now it says Fortnite. You can resize it. So it could be like a mini Fortnite. And then you, you're going to click font. And you can choose the font there. See, let's say this one. And then you click a check mark. There you go. Now it's bold. Then what you want to do is click color. This red color. That will be good. Check mark. Oh, boom. Now it's red. And you can even um, put it to the side. You can twist it a little bit so it can look really silly and stuff. And you can even add in animation for video clip or text. Let's say for the text right now. So you click in animation. Let's see. Pop. Oh, yeah, there you go, guys. It's, it's popping now. Slide right. Woo. <laughs> yeah, that's cool, guys, right? Clockwise, it just spins out of control and then boom. See? It has a lot of cool things that you can do in this app. So, yeah, boom, guys. That's how you do it with, in animation with text. And you can even do it with gameplay for in animation or even out animation. Now I'm going to show you, you can actually use green screens. But yeah, if you have a green screen in your face cam, then there's actually a setting to enable that face cam. I mean, green screen, sorry guys. So you're going to click media. Let's say this green screen footage. There you go. Now it's a huge green screen, Chris. By the way, guys, don't judge my dancing, by the way. <laughs> And there you go, that's me and my green screen, but obviously you guys want the, screen, the green screen to disappear. So here's how you do it. You're going to click chroma key. And there you go. It, see, it says enable. Boom. Now, I'm in green screen. And guys, this usually looks good for you guys, but it's actually a really dirty green screen. So you're going to click chroma key, then click show mask. And there you go. See, it has all these shadows. You have to make it so that there's no shadows. And that will be a good green screen. So, guys, yeah, there's also adjustments that you can do. Guys, this is actually, like, not perfect. But, yeah, it's it's still pretty good, guys. And there's, there's actually, yeah, you can curve. And then you click color curve, and there you go. You can you can change the color. You can change the color so the green screen will be really good. See, there's a lot of mess around, and you guys see that green on my green screen? It looks really messy. 
So that's why you have to adjust it to correctly to not make it look like that. <coughs> See, there you go, guys. See, now I'm perfectly white, and that's a good green screen. It's not perfect, guys, but you know, it's still good. Now I'm going to show you a couple of other things Kitten Master has. Now we're gonna start another um, uh, project from scratch quickly. It goes 16.9. Now let's just choose the same clip. Now I'm gonna show you can actually add music to it, stickers and stuff like that. So we're gonna click audio. <coughs> gonna click okay. So yeah, they have music assets, sound effects assets, recording and internal. In this case, we're gonna click internal. Well, honestly, so this is YouTube. You can't just pick any song because you're, then you're going to get copyrighted. So you want to play a non-copyrighted song. And this song is actually from YouTube, Volcano Trap. So we're going to click it. Now we're going to click the plus sign. And there you go. Now you have the Volcano Trap. And then you can place it where you want. And remember, to place it, you hold your finger yeah, and until this thing shakes and then you can move it. So we're going to put it all the way. And now, your entire gameplay has music. So that's awesome. And you can also increase the volume of the song as well. Now we're going to click the song. Click Mixer. And higher the volume. Let's say... Yeah, 43 is enough. <clears throat> okay, that's... So that's how you add music. And there's other things in here. You can add stickers. And you click a um, layer. Or even FX. There you go. The swirl is cool. You can add the swirl. <laughs> yeah, look at that, guys. And there you go, you have a swirly screen. <laughs> look at... <laughs> guys, look at that. Also, you don't want to do this forever, because then that'll just screw up your entire gameplay. You want to do it for a couple of seconds, and that'll be cool. Additionally, you have some cool stickers. Then you click Layer. Then what you want to do is click Overlay. And click Classic Stickers. And boom, you can add any stickers you want, like emojis, maxes. Anything, football, sports, or even breakfast. So it's cool. I'm going to put the cool emoji there. So you don't want to put this too long in your gameplay, but let's put it quickly, guys. Let's see. Uh, see, there you go. That's our cool emoji. And then you can shrink the timeline of the, this emoji. And um, when we play, it's going to only play for a very short period of time. Yeah, I'm going to play it now, and let's see. See, there you go. That's our emoji. See, it popped up for like only four milliseconds, guys. So that's cool. See, see, guys, this app can do a lot of things. You can add multiple layers. You can make new projects. So this, so this app is truly amazing. And uh, next week, I'm going to show you a, cu a couple of cool effects with Kinmaster that's going to blow your mind. So don't, get f don't forget to stay tuned until next week. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy. Smash that like button, subscribe for more videos, and see you next time. Bye, guys.